31. Giuseppe Lazzaro Morpurgo. Once upon a time, there was Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1806, when the emperor decreed the blockade of ports against England, the British reacted by locking up the Adriatic. Ships and boats were attacked. Trade vanished. The free maritime city of Trieste went to ruin. Without work, the many insurance companies born in the 18th century were forced to close. In 1806, there were 14. In 1813, when Napoleon lost at Leipzig and the Austrians returned to the city, not even one remained. When the blockade was abolished, soon Trieste became again the free port of the Habsburgs, the commercial hub of Maria Theresa's times. Insurance companies made a comeback. Many companies were active especially in maritime transport insurance and did not always take into account life and fire risks against hail, drought, frost and floods. Giuseppe Lazzaro Morpurgo, an entrepreneur from Gorizia who had always worked in this sector, realized the limits of all these ramifications and seized the opportunity to think big without wasting resources. On the 26th of December 1831, with other partners, he founded the Assicurazioni Generali Austro-Italiche. The purpose of this company is to take on land, sea and river insurance, life insurance in all its ramifications, annuities and any other branch of insurance permitted by the sovereign laws. It was a company that catered to the Italian states and the empire, as demonstrated by its two main offices, the one in Venice and the headquarters in Trieste, in Palazzo Carciotti opposite the port a joint stock company which was unusual, with a starting capital of two million florins, at least 10 times higher than was customary at the time. But the key word was generali. It meant that the company would deal with every branch and every claim without distinction. For instance, Life insurance is the most powerful antidote against selfishness. This shameful vice that degrades the soul and corrupts its finest qualities. On the day of the foundation, a storm hit Trieste. Two years later, Vienna granted Assicurazioni Generali the privilege of using the coat of arms with a double-headed eagle.